Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Bear Family Farms. I am JT Bear and as usual we are hanging out in the chicken coop at the moment. You can probably hear them clucking away in the background. I thought I should probably give you an update as to what happened yesterday. So uh, without further ado, let's let's get on that. First off, I want to say once again that this hanging chicken feeder was worth every penny of its 26 bucks. And anybody who's getting started in chickens, I recommend just going online, spending the money. Don't try and fart around like I did. Just just get yourself a hanging feeder. You'll be glad you did. Um, okay, well, the update is, as you see, there are three hens. We can pan around a little bit. But Betty is now an only Betty. Unfortunately, old age... It is what it is. It's the, the downside of retirement hens. They're not going to live as long as if we had gotten fresh chicks and raised them up and all of that stuff. So Betty Poop, who has been struggling for a while, I must say, passed away yesterday. Shocks came out in the morning and, and she was gone. Well, not absent, but spirit was gone. And the other three were kind of wandering around like, well, I didn't do it. I, I don't know what to do with this. So, Shocks put her in a box. And this morning I took her to a place where I know there are lots of foxes and no houses. So, back to nature she goes. Um, it seems kind of sad and everything, but... Livestock means dead stock. It's, it's part and parcel the whole animal husbandry thing. And, uh, well, at least now we're technically within the bylaw limit for the number of hens. We're only supposed to have three anyway. I'm sure Bunty will be with us for a while because I'm pretty sure she is the youngest. She lays very consistently and they're fairly small eggs. The Bettys very very sporadic with their eggs and the eggs that they have been laying have been massive I mean like to a point where if I put one in with the rest of the eggs I can't close the carton like count them as three eggs worth of egg massive uh, we talked to a few people in town and they were like well you can kinda of tell when your birds are getting older because the eggs will be huge well okay and um, you know, they, they talked with shocks, and everybody seems to agree. It's simply a matter of old age. It's not that the cold finally got them, because, I mean, you'll notice I'm still three for four with my birds here. But, um, yeah, old age finally kicked in for our retirement hens, and, and now we have three. I am looking forward to getting some Brahma chicks, hopefully, come spring. But we will see. It's uh, There are a few different things up in the air right now. But I'm very much hoping to get some chicks and if possible Brahmas because they're supposed to be good cold hardy birds. And then we're probably going to keep Bunty. But I just don't know about Patches and the other Betty. I think it's probably better to dispatch them in a more traditional farm fashion so that they can be soup birds than to let them go on their own because that's why we didn't eat that Betty is because she died uh, well of natural causes so I'm gonna let her go back to nature but I would prefer when the time comes for these two here to stuff them in a cone and dispatch them farm style. I like chicken soup. I like chicken stew. And, uh, well, I've paid for it with these birds. That said, Patches has filled in so nicely since she's been with us. It almost, uh, it almost seems like a shame to not let these ladies live out their, their last days. So, when it comes right down to it, we might let them all become grandmother hens. But as the discussion sits right now, we're considering Grandma Bunty teaching the new chicks what it's like to be a chicken here on Bear Family Family Farms. Ba-doo-ba-doo-ba-doo. 
can't quite speak. Need another cup of coffee. Work started at stupid o'clock this morning, but on the upside, even though it's only Tuesday, I have finished half of my work for the week at the barn. Because I clean six rooms a week. Two of them are on Tuesday, so... Well, it's not actually hump day yet. I'm halfway done my work. So that's good. Looking forward to some shorter days. Because I only do one room for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I'm generally home by noon. So that's nice. Kind of brain dead and exhausted by that point. But home at least. So yeah. Anywho, that's about it. I just thought I'd give you an update on the ladies. And let you know that, uh, well, and then there were three hens. Retirement hens. It is what it is. Until next time, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your livestock. And I'll see you around.